Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel and this is Gerald Beya for Alnet.Italian and uh, so buongiorno amici, uh, benvenuti a tutti so what you can see on your screen is just uh, the playlist on my YouTube channel and the channel's name is uh, Gerald Beya and the playlist name is uh, Italian Language Learning so we have already done a lot of uh, lessons together, uh, lezioni, and the last time we stopped at lesson 48. So we're going to continue today with uh, uh, new exercises, so let's get ready and uh, let's get started. Alright guys, so here we are, we are in uh, Duolingo, I'm learning different uh, languages using this uh, application, smartphone application. So we'll get to the Italian uh, materials and as you can see here we are now at unit 9 talk about quantity, talk about occupations and uh, probably as a reminder if um, you, you haven't been uh, in touch with your Italian so let's just check what's um, in the guidebook so some key phrases when you talk about quantity in Italian Quanto è grande? So how big is it? Un chilogrammo di manzo per favore Un chilogram, One kilogram of beef please Sorry So vuoi un po' del mio? Do you want a little of mine? And um, Bevono un litro d'acqua They drink a, a litre of water Okay, so that was not... Um, that was not difficult, I, I, I would say. So now there's a tip. Remember niente, the, the word. Uh, the Italian word niente means nothing or anything. So it means both, uh, depending on, well, on the situation, it can mean, it can mean um, nothing or anything. So non o niente in cucina. So I don't have nothing. No, it's not I don't have. In English we say I have nothing in the kitchen. So that's the difference because, yeah, in English we say I have nothing or I don't have anything. In Italian though, we have only one option. You'll always include non before the verb and niente after it. So non o niente nella borsa. I don't have anything in my bag. Non so niente di donne. Di donne. So I don't know anything about women. Well, I can say I don't know. I know nothing. Yeah, I could say also I know nothing or I don't know anything about women. So it's going to be the same. Yeah. Key phrases talk about occupations. Uh, dove lavori? Where do you work? Loro sono ricercatori. Uh, they are researchers. Gli ingegneri lavorano con noi. The engineers work with us, so ingegneri, ingegneri. Uh, mio padre è al lavoro, at work, so al lavoro, at work. Mio padre è al lavoro. Mia figlia fa la policio, uh, poliziotta. Mia figlia fa la poliziotta. Uh, my daughter is a police woman. Okay, so we saw some, uh, some, uh, some occupations, for example... Ricercator, uh, ricercatore, ricercatori, and um, ingegneri, ingegneri, and what else? We know how to say work, lavoro, and we know how to say at work. And lavorare, it's the, it's the verb to work. And also poliziota, poliziota, police woman. Great, so let's move on tip, uh, what's your job? Generally speaking, Italian doesn't use gender-neutral occupation terms as much as English does. So most of them end in O, in their masculine form, and in A, in the feminine form. So masculine, for example, you'll say il poliziotto, but in feminine you will say la poliziotta. Uh, another example would be il segretario, segretario, la segretaria. So kind of, uh, yeah, it's not so difficult, I guess. So il poliziotto, la poliziotta, yeah. 
We will also notice that a lot of occupations end in tore, in masculine, and in trice, in the feminine. Mio marito è un ricercatore, so my husband is a researcher. Conosco una ricercatrice, ricercatrice, so I know a researcher, a female researcher. And here are some more examples, so il pescatore, la pescatrice, il direttore, la direttrice, direttore, sorry, la, la direttrice and lo scrittore, la scrittrice. Great, so now you know how uh, the ending is for um, both masculine and feminine. Um, yeah, when speaking about occupations in Italian. So we have another example here. Uh, lui fa il pescatore. So you don't always have to say he is. You can say he does, for example, in, uh, in Italian. So there are two ways to say it. So he is a fisherman. You can say lui è uh, pescatore. Un pescatore, sì. Si. Uh, but you can also lui... You can also say lui fa il pescatore. But there are a few exceptions to these patterns. Uh, for instance, the feminine form of doctore is not uh, doctorice, but doctoressa. It's the same for studente, studentessa. All right, so that was just a, a warm up, guys. And uh, we'll get now back to here where we stop. And we are going to do our first exercise of the day. So let's do it. I don't know. Non, non so. so. This is easy. Sapere. Io non so. Io so. Io non so. Who decides? So, chi uh, decide? Decide? Decide. Decide, yes. Decide. Qui decide. Dove mettete il sale? Mettete. So, where do you put? Ai miei fratelli piace la birra. Mettere, I think mettere, yeah. This is infinitive to put. Ai miei fratelli piace la birra. So, my brothers like beer. Mm -hmm. And the parties are not tomorrow. The parties. Le... I know that in Italian it's a fiesta. I think it's feste. Feste. Festa. Feste. Feste, yes. Non sono domani. Hai un minuto? Hai un minuto? Hai un minuto? Do you have a minute? Yeah. We got this. The parents. So... Uh, Genitori, so genitori, the parents, i genitori, genitori, I hope it's right, yes, now, Febbraio. we're gonna match uh, the corresponding words, febbraio, mese, mese, Me mese, 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 Meze, I think it's meze. Che. Che is that. Nero. And nero is black, of course. All right. So what do you believe? Cosa, cosa credi? Credere? So credi. Cosa credi? Estate. Estate is summer. Settimana. Settimana is a week. Col. Col is weave. And mentre. with the, actually, mentre is just while. Aspettiamo la primavera. Aspettiamo. Aspettiamo la primavera. Aspettiamo la primavera. Aspettiamo. I missed the A, but thanks, Duo didn't penalize me. So, are you coming to the party tomorrow? Vieni, Vieni alla festa al domani. Fe domani. Yeah. So, hello. How do you say hello? It's ciao. Uh, nano. I think it's nano. Nono. Nona. Ah. 
Nono. Nona is grandmother and Nono it is the grandfather, grandpa. Okay. And I do not know your name. So, Yonon So. Yo. Oh, I do not know. So, how do you say? Uh, non conosco il tuo nome. Tu nome. So now it's not to to know. You, yeah, you can use also conoscere. Conoscere is to to know also. I remember. Ric ricordo. Io ricordo. Io ricordo il menu. I think it's. Well, what happens here? What what's the... ah? It has to be in capital, right? I guess. I guess that's what uh, they are telling me. Okay, guys. So that's done. That was our first exercise of today's lesson. And uh, let's make a small pause. We'll see each other in a few seconds. All right, guys. Uh, fantastico. That's great. And uh, let's continue. We will do uh, the last exercise of this level. So let's wrap up this level and let's see how much we, we've learned and how much we remember from the exercises. Non so. Non so. I don't know. So, non so. The man. Il uomo. So, il uomo, uomo, uh, beve, bevere, be, beve, l'acqua. I guess that's not what l'uomo. Ah, yes, of course. I don't know how I got this Lui wrong. Lui prende i miei pantaloni. Lui prende i miei pantaloni. Lui prende i miei pantaloni. So he takes my pants. So lui prende i miei pantaloni. Pantaloni. Friday and Saturday nights. So venerdì e sabato uh, not notti. Is it going to be notti? I guess notte stays notte even if it's in plural. Yeah. Loro non credono. Loro non credono. They don't believe. They do not believe. Abbigliamento. Abbigliamento. Abbigliamento, of course, is clothing. Abbigliamento. Sue. Sue, it's his, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mio. My. Sa. And sa. He knows or she knows or it knows. La ragazza chiama. So, chiamare. Chiamare is like she is called, yeah. Uh, he understands, he understands uh, women. So, how do you say that in Italian? Lui, uh, so, cap capisce. So, capisce. Cap capisce. So, yes. Comprende, capisce. Yeah. Okay, I just want to remember. Capire. I think capire is the infinitive Dov'è la mia camicia bianca? Dov'è la mia cap uh, camicia? Bianca? Dov'è la mia camicia bianca? Bianca. Bianca means white, of course. Why don't we go up? Perché? Perché? Non andiamo no, su. An su. I remember this. Su. Nero. Means black, of course. Ho una cena con lui a gennaio. Ho una cena con lui a... So I have a dinner with him a gennaio. In January. And that was my mistake. So l'uomo, of course. We don't say il uomo because l'uomo because of uh, double um, vowels. All right, so one mistake. That's okay. That's not too bad and it was just 
was just a, a moment of, um, how to say, inattention. Okay, so of distraction, let's say. All right, guys, let's take another pause after this second exercise. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, so welcome back. And we are now going to do some more exercises. We are halfway in this recorded lesson. And uh, so we're doing quite well. Uh, so let's talk about occupations. So this is very interesting. Let's do it. Lui parla con la guardia. La guardia. La guardia is a god. So la guardia is the female god, I guess. Uh, so he speaks with the god. Yeah. Lui parla. Parlare to speak. Yeah. Uh, the engineers. The engineers work with us. Uh, gli ingegneri. Ingegneri. Lavorano Lavora con, con, con noi. noi. Sì. I contadini danno la birra a noi. Contadini, contadini, contadino is the former, contadini farmers, danno la birra a noi. Yes, let's do it. So, i contadini danno la birra a noi. I contadini danno la birra a noi. So, non, non sono so, contadini. Non sono contadini. So, non sono contadini. They are not uh, farmers. Yeah. Uh, sono can be am also, but um, since we're speaking about contadini and not contadino, so it has to be they. Uh, Mio padre è il pescatore con la maglia rossa. Mio padre è il... Mio padre è il pescatore con la maglia rossa. Mio padre è il pescatore con la maglia rossa. Pescatore. So pescatore is a fisherman with the maglia rossa. Maglia is, uh, I guess, a t-shirt. No, it's a sweater. Sweater. Okay. And guys, let me just put the... Yeah. I'm going to put the, the, the cam on. And uh, so that you can see me as well. A little bit. So the architect is the man with the white shirt. So the architect. Uh, I don't remember how we say architect. So architect. Architetto. Architetto. So let's try to write this. I know it's gonna bother me, but I just want to, to have it here. Okay, maybe like that. So, architetto. Architetto, architetto. E l'uomo con la camicia bianca. Corretto? Sei un pagliaccio. Sei un pagliaccio. Sei. So, you are a clown. So, say you are a clown. Sei un pagliaccio. Sei un pagliaccio. Sei un pescatore. Sei un pescatore. Ok. L'uomo con i pantaloni viola è un pagliaccio. L'uomo con il... Sorry. L'uomo con i pantaloni... Pantaloni viola è un pagliaccio. Ok. So they are clowns. So how do you say clown? Sono pa palia uh, choni. Let's see palia choni. Uh, first of all, there is a G here. Palia cho chi. Palia cho palia cho chi. Palia chi. I, I don't know how to say it. You say buffone. Buffone, buffona. Uh, pagliacci. Pagliaccio, pagliacci. Ok. Are you a presenter? Sei un uh, oh. conduttore? Conduttore. Sei un conduttore? S oh, are you the? 
my mistake. So, yeah, it, here it's with a definite article, so it should be say, say tu il conduttore, say tu il conditore, say il conditore. I think uh, is also correct. Uh, he is the engineer. She is the architect. So lui è l'ingegnere. Uh, lui lei è lei l'archi l'architetto l'architetto so lei l'architetta l'architetta good sei tu il conduttore buono sei tu il conduttore Sei tu il conduttore, yeah. Ok, got it. Le guardie vedono il lupo. Guard... Le guard... Le guardie... Or... How do you say that? Le guardie vedono il lupo. Le guardie... Guarda... Guardi... I don't know. Sounds like guardi to me. It's not good. Guardie. But why guardie? Um, probably because uh, that's how you say it in um, in feminine plural form. Uh, il, how do you say forma? Contadino. 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 Il contadino, the guards, le, uh, sorry, the, gu the guards, no, the guards, yeah, the guards see the wolf, le guardie, okay, let's, let's see, it. I missed the R there, sorry about that, vedo il lupo, mai il mio zio, 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 uh, is a presenter so fa 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 il il, il conduttore. conduttore yes there was a mistake initially i put il mi il mio zio but uh, in italian you don't use any article uh, for family members when they are in singular so yeah are you the presenter? So that was my previous mistake. And uh, sei tu il conduttore? Il conduttore. All right. Le guardie vedono il lupo. Guardie. Le guardie. Guardie. Once again, there was an or missing. So. All right. Finally, we completed this uh, the exercise. That was not brilliant from my, my part. Uh, but yeah. I'm still learning, of course, so let's have a, a third pause and we'll get back with the final lesson. Let's do that. So guys, so welcome back uh, after this uh, third pause. We're going to uh, do one more exercise or maybe two, depending on how uh, fast we'll be. Uh, we will be, so yeah. Look out for the exercises that improve how well you speak, listen, read and write so yeah i am a police officer so sono so, un, un poliziotto poliziotto i miei genitori sono degli avvocati i miei genitori sono degli avvocati so my parents so i miei genitori uh or so sono degli avvocati, so degli avvocati, degli, uh, yes, so degli avvocati, some, it sounds like some to me, no, it's like uh, from the, yeah, okay, degli, Yeah, daily avocati.
Lavora come postino. Lavora come postino. 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 I would put two N here. Yeah, it's correct. So, lavora come postino. He works as a mailman. Dove lavori? Dove lavori? Where do you work? So, we do that. We did that. Vai dal meccanico. Vai dal, dal meccanico. So, val, vai. Vai. Do you go? Yeah. Do you go? To the mechanic. So, vai dal meccanico. And. I poliziotti hanno le camicie azzurre. Hanno le camicie azzurre. I poliziotti hanno le camicie azzurre. Right. And. Per quale giornale lavori? Per quale giornale lavori? Per quale giornale lavori? So, for which uh, newspaper do you work? And cosa mangia l'idraulico? Cosa mangia? Cosa mangia l'idraulico? I don't understand. Cosa mangia no cap no l'idraulico? What? Cosa, cosa? mangia? L'idraulico. L'idraulico. Ah. Idraulico. Idraulico is just the plumber. Yeah. So, idraulico. Idraulico. That's how you say plumber. Ricordo la risposta del direttore. Italian. Ricordo la risposta del direttore. So, I remember the... So, director's answer, the director's answer. Ricordo la risposta del direttore, yeah? And my parents, i miei I genitori, genitori sono, sono degli avvocati. Avvocati. So, how do you say lawyer? Avvocato, avvocata, uh, or is it avvocate? Catese, no. <laughs> avvocate? Avvocatese? Avvocato, avvocata. I think that's how it goes, yes. Do you go to the mechanic? So, vai dal meccanico. Meccanico. Good. And for which newspaper do you work? So, uh, so... So, for it's per... Quale giornale? Qua giornale. Eh. Mm -hmm. I think it's maybe... Per. Per quale per. giornale? Giornale. Lavori. Lavori. Mm -hmm. The mail, the mail carriers work in the morning. So, i eh, postini... Postini lavorano di mattina. So, postino, postini, <coughs> they have only one N. So, good to know. Where are the mechanics? Where are the mechanics? Uh, so, dove sono? Do sono. So, the mechanics. I meccanici. 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 Meccanici, sorry. Yeah. I miei cugini sono idraulici. Cugini, cugini, cousins, cousins, so i miei cugini sono... I miei cugini sono idraulici. Idraulici. Idraulici, plumbers, like uh, Mario e Luigi. Mario e Luigi, sì. So, i fratelli italiani. <laughs> Where is the manager? So, dov'è la 
uh, is it direttore direttrice 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 ok so the policeman il poli poligiotto il poligiotto perfetto so molto bene perfetto uh, let's do it so we did our last exercise of this recorded lesson guys so well we practice a lot uh, the the occupations so i lavori uh, so yeah let's stop here guys uh, so thank you so much thank you for uh, for watching this uh, video and you can like it and uh, subscribe to my youtube channel uh, Gerard Bayer and uh, also you can find us on facebook we have a page called aunet.italian so by liking the page you will have notifications and so on and therefore you will be able to keep in touch and of course you will not miss out from my uh, future videos All right, so grazie mille amici e ci vediamo alla prossima lezione uh, and um, buona giornata o oh, buona giornata uh, buona serata a uh, how how would I say to you so a voi yeah a me a te a voi yeah let's do like this <laughs> okay uh, ciao ciao